y'all welcome back to LNL Honeycomb Homestead as you can see it is still the same day but I'm gonna show you what I have done because Sunday we have been asked out for dinner so I won't be doing Sunday dinner this Sunday tomorrow so I'm gonna show you what I have in store for y'all for Sunday as of today you know for tomorrow and and I'm gonna upload that so that way you can be able to see what I have done and what I had changed my mind on doing because I did some rearranging and I think this will be better. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so as y'all know, I did lay out some stuff. I did, I had some tires and everything over in this area right here. And I decided that I was not gonna come out here by the side of the garage because I've been looking at it every day and there's not enough sun for what I'm gonna put out here. So I changed the location and I'm going to show you where I did um, from that, okay? You see, I'm getting the beds ready because I'm getting ready to put the soil in and see what I'm lacking. So in the meantime, I went on and put some more tires here. As you see, I did spray paint, just spit spat, you know, and then make it all nice and neat. But it's got some color in here somewhere. But I have put up these, put some more tires out here. I took the tires that was over in the front. And I brought them over here. So I'm gonna grow some green beans, like I had said before, in each one of these tires. Now back here was my onion bed and garlic bed. So I got some garlic and I got some onions that I planted in um, that I said I was going to do. And I just like that one. And that's my onion and garlic bed and stuff like that over here, okay? And over here in my salad bar area, I did the same thing. I took those tires and brought them over here so I can grow my bell peppers and stuff over here and all that good jazz. The bell peppers will be over here in this area because like I said, this is the salad, salad area. Okay, my lettuce, radishes, and so forth and so on, carrots, all that stuff is going to be over here in this area. In the front spot right here, I am going to put my tomatoes in every other one of these cinder blocks, my tomatoes. The ones that are in the tournament, I'm gonna have them going along the ledge here. Of those cinder blocks inside the cinder blocks. And then on the outside, I'll put the bushy ones um, on the outside of it. That way it won't be taking any shade or anything from what I'm going to be growing right here. I'll grow some cucumbers and so forth and stuff like that. And then over in these tubs here, I thought about putting my squash in those. And I'm going to be making a, a trellis. Uh, over here so that way my squash can grow up uh, up along the fence and that's what I decided that I'm going to do I think that will be good and then I'm going to show you on the other side of the yard what I'm going to do there here I'm going to use that gutter and I'm going to fill that gutter up and put my peas in there I'm going to have some more peas and I thought about sliding them over in here and then when they get to a certain height, I made a trench from here all the way down to the other side right here where this ends. And then I'll have something right here. So this right here is just an eyeball just to see what I can get here to climb for those peas to climb on. And I'm trying to get it to the height of this T post right here and kind of extend it out a little bit. And I picked this spot here because as you can see, this pecan tree is really huge. So um, as I was doing the research on that, you know, um, cabbage and different um, vegetables like that, brassica family, they like uh, sun, but they also like in between the shade and sunlight. So as long as I have me at least four to six hours of sunlight, which I will have over here in this area, then it'll be good. So I'm gonna be um, bringing my grow bags 
and I'll have them along here as well too. Now I might take those grow bags and um, and put them, you know, in each little spot right here, so that way the peas can grow up or have them on the ground and just let them go from there. And then over here, I'll be able to transport some more, um, uh, like the cabbage. I might put one or two in each one of those or lettuce and get the rest of those tires and use my grow bags as well for the lettuce and um, cabbage, broccoli, stuff like that. So as you can see over here on this side where the sun is at, this is where it hits all the time right here. It hits all the time because there's no shade pretty much right here. And this is also the south end of the yard. So with it being like that and there's more sunlight coming over this way and it's not right directly up under the tree limbs, as you can see, it's a space. See, it's nothing but space right here. That tree is over there, so that ain't gonna bother it. But over here in this area right here, I'll have some more growing space. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna still think of what I can put over in this area right here because like I said, it can be at least six to eight hours of sun, or four to six hours of sun, excuse me. But um, I'm gonna make sure when I do put something here that it won't uh, mess up the growth from this pecan tree right here, because it's humongous. And it, it when it fills out, it fills out, as you can see. See them branches? And right now it's just too expensive to be trying to trim those and cut them back um we done called around and they they asking for too much right now which we, we don't have so i'm gonna work with what we i'm gonna work with it i'm gonna work with it so that way we can have some more um growing space so now you know what i've been doing and um the next video that will come up i'll have those beds over in the other garden area over there i'll have them filled up I'll have this pretty much kind of filled up. I'll be really will know exactly how much um, soil I have. I think I do have enough, you know, to hit every last one of these beds that I have made up so far for this garden. So that way I can start taking stuff out of the greenhouse and go ahead and put them in its little areas. And that will be this week. It's gonna be a beautiful week. And um, yeah, it's gonna be good. And then I'll be able to take up some of those cinder blocks and I'll probably make a little bed over here as well. Just right here in this area, right in right in here. I'll probably make a little bed from those cinder blocks over there as well. So that way you can have some more um, space. So yeah, that's the plan for over here. I'm going to straighten up over there. But um, yeah, that's what the plan is going to be. So yeah. Um, getting excited about it y'all because everything is going to be transplanted um it's going to be time to put those cucumbers in the seeds because march is going to be rolling around so it's going to be time to put those cucumbers in so um i'm going to be having them starting to grow out too so this is on the inside of the salad bar and um bell peppers some peppers stuff like that will be over here in this area right here and I might have some grow bags right here along the ledge right here and, and have me some, have my hot peppers along here as well too. And it'll bring some pop of color as well. So I think that'll be good because we'll get a lot of sun over here on this end, on this side as well. So I think that'll be good. Yep. And then I had also took this tower that was in um, the middle of the uh, heart shaped bed I had and so I think it'll just be pretty as is without that tower being in the center because all the flowers are going to come up they're all going to be coming up this spring so since the weather has been looking the way it has I already have my daffodils they're already kind of trying to come up and stuff like that as you can see and then I'll have some stuff coming up right here as well so what I was planting right here was gonna be my morning glories and that way it can vine up along that I think that would be a pretty pop of color as well right there some different color morning glories climbing up this tower right here 
And I think that would be pretty in the middle of the salad bowl. Yep. And then I'll have some more flowers and stuff along the background right here. And um, along here, there's some more flowers that will be coming up, up through there. So that makes it good too. Yep. When the spring gets here. I can't wait to see those pretty blooms. Okay, y'all. So there you have it. That's what's going on at the honeycomb. I'm sorry I won't be able to do Sunday dinner with y'all tomorrow. And um, we will resume back for next Sunday. I'll be ready to cook a nice meal for y'all. And until then, y'all have a blessed day. Have a wonderful day. You see everybody's out. I know you hear the lawnmowers and the weed eaters are going on. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be beautiful all week. So until then, y'all have a wonderful day. And God bless. Bye-bye.